Before you can install Aerospike 3, there are some steps you need to take. Whichever version or edition you're using, there are some things that are very important in the operating system and in the, in the supporting environment that you have to make sure are set up properly. So the first thing is, if you're going to be using multicast heartbeats, you of course have to make sure that your, your network supports them. You also want to make sure to turn off both SE Linux and uh, IP tables as these can pr uh, provide problems with communication from one node to another. And you also want to make sure that NTP or the network time protocol has been turned on. Uh, this is to ensure that all of the nodes are coordinated properly in time. And of course, if you're using flash, you want to prepare your flash or SSDs. So to start with, when you're taking a look at multicast, if you are again using the multicast heartbeat mechanism, you have to make sure that your network supports this. You want to check with your network admin to make sure of that. Uh, the two re ways that people have done this is to, number one, either turn off IGMP snooping. Some people don't like to do that, however. And so instead, what you might want to do is turn on IGMP snooping and make sure that the querier is turned on. Now, if you don't do this, what you might find is that the cluster will form properly, but then after a few minutes, dissolve again. So if you do find that this is a symptom of uh, a problem in your a cluster, it probably is the querier that is uh, the issue there. Uh, the other thing to note is that many of the cloud services such as Amazon AWS uh, do not allow uh, for multicast. You should also turn off SE Linux. Uh, it's often off nowadays in, in many of the Linux versions, but if it is on, uh, you need to do a few simple things, which is number one, of course, to uh, make sure that uh, everything is, in, uh, you have to uh, change the file here. Um, Create this file if it doesn't exist and uh, just put in a couple of lines saying that uh, SE Linux is turned off uh, or disabled and that and the SEL Linux type is uh, targeted. Uh, if you're on Debian or Ubuntu, you can turn off IP tables just by issuing the following commands, uh, fairly simple commands to run. If instead you're on CentOS or Red Hat, you can go ahead and run the ntsysv uh, command. Uh, when you do that, you'll notice here that there is an area that says IP tables, which has been turned off uh, within this interface, and you can go ahead and save that. And if that's all set up, uh, you're good to go. Uh, you can also do this from the command line, just by issuing the command sudo sbin uh, check config IP tables off, and then you also want to turn off the uh, service itself by running sudo etsy init.d IP tables stop. So you can do either one of those to, to stop things. Uh, you can also turn on NTP from CentOS if you want uh, from here as well. So if you scroll down from uh, where we were before when we're dealing with IP tables, there is a, another checkbox here for NTP. Uh, you can also turn on NTP from the command line as with before. You can simply run sudo sbin check config ntpd, turn that on, uh, then uh, tell it exactly where it can go to, to get the date, uh, time and date, and then finally start the NTPT daemon. Now with Ubuntu today, uh, NTP is on by default. Uh, you'd have to turn that off, so you can simply turn that back on. And for Debian, you can simply run sudo aptitude install NTP. And then finally, if you do want to use uh, Flash or SSDs, uh, the easiest way to get more information on this is to go to our webinar that talks about how to uh, actually test and configure your SSDs. So to do that, simply go to our website and look at the home page. On the right hand side, there is a button that says connect and then go to webinars or simply go to http uh, www.aerospike.com forward slash webinars. Uh, and then you'll find a set of webinars that we have and look for the one titled getting the most out of your flash SSDs. And once you've done all of that, you're ready to do the installation.